Hi, my name is Leo, and today we'll be looking at phylogenetic trees. Here we have an example tree that I have created to show the different phenotypes of a group of reptiles. But before we go into that, we need to cover some definitions. Our first definition is anagenesis, which is the evolution within a lineage over time, and on this tree is represented by our horizontal lines. The next definition is cladogenesis, which is the splitting of one lineage into two, and on this tree is represented by the vertical lines. The next definition is OTUs, otherwise known as operational taxonomic units. These can be different species or even strains of viruses, but on this tree we will be using the different species of reptiles as our OTUs. The next definition is a rooted tree, which is a type of phylogenetic tree where the distance between the OTUs is known and the order of divergence is inferred based on the outgroup. Our entire tree is an example of a rooted tree. The next definition is outgroup, which is an OTU that diverged earlier than all others, and it can show the root of the tree where all other OTUs share a common ancestor, and the snake is an example of our outgroup. The next definition is our most recent common ancestor, which is an ancestor that all OTUs share. You can find this by tracing the taxa back to the first point of divergence. Our last definition is internal nodes which are representations of common ancestors that existed before cladogenesis occurred, and these red circles are representations of some internal nodes. Now we can look at the tree. Our A node represents our most recent common ancestor, where it diverged into a legged and no-legged group. Our no-legged group is the outgroup and is represented by the snake. I chose the snake because it is the least similar to all other reptiles on this chart, as it has no appendages. The legged group then diverges again at node B into carnivores and herbivores. The carnivore group diverges once again at node C into solid color and colorful carnivores. In the solid color group, we have crocodile and alligator. These are the most closely related OTUs on our chart because their branches are the shortest. Crocodiles and alligators are very similar, with the only notable differences being their habitats and nose shape. In the colorful group, we have chameleons and gila monsters. These reptiles are both lizards and very colorful, and they are also carnivorous, but they differ in their habitats and way of catching their prey. In the herbivore group, we diverge at node D into shelled and non-shelled herbivores. In the shelled group, we have tortoise and sea turtle, with their only notable differences being their size and the fact that tortoises live on land while sea turtles live in the water. In the non-shelled group, we lastly have iguanas and chuckwallas, which are similar in that they are non-shelled herbivore reptiles, but they differ in their habitat and scale density.